What's up everybody? It's Broken Bones here and welcome to Broken's Bedrock Tutorials. Today we're going to be showing you how to build the Hopper Line Shocker Box Unloader version B. Out of all the different models to choose from, the reason why you would choose this one is because this one will take your full shocker box, it'll separate your items and put them into one hopper stream and then take your shocker boxes and put them into another. And this is a version B unloader which means there is a version A and the version A loader will take your shocker box and put it into the top. However, the version B will take your shocker box and put it into the bottom. Some of the farms or machines that you might find this on is something like a furnace array or maybe even a storage system with a sorting system. And that way it would take all the items, put them through the sorting system, and then take your shulker boxes to another area. And as you can see in my inventory, I've got a couple shulker boxes right here. These only have 16 items in them, just so I can show you how this thing works. And as you can see, if we put all of our full shulker boxes up here, they'll go into the system, they'll automatically get dispensed, and then they'll start sorting out all the items in this top hopper right here and as you can see when it breaks it'll take the shulker box put it down here and it'll continue to unload your items in the top bit and it'll do that for all of your shulker boxes until you're completely empty and as you can see there's another shulker box that came into our shulker box storage and the items are still draining out into the top hopper all the way up to the last one right here that's the last one there's all of our items and there's all of our chakra boxes. And what makes this all happen is the hoppers out the back. And as you can see, we've got two hoppers. We have a bottom one and we have a top one. And the top one engages any time that the items are going in and then gets pulled back for the chakra box to fall down into this one. And as you can see there, you can basically have these hoppers going into anywhere. They don't have to necessarily go into these barrels. You could have this hopper line turn to the left and have a hopper line that goes out there. And you could have another hopper line going this way somewhere else. And you could you could be creative with it. So during the tutorial, keep that in mind that the only thing that you guys really need to do block for block is the redstone out the back. Anything that is a, a uh, smooth quartz block like this or anything in the front like a barrel or a chest, you guys do not have to have that. That is something that I put together to make this look nice and neat out the front. However, you can be creative with it and kind of have things how you like. For instance, you do not have to have a chest right here. You could actually have a farm that produces shulker boxes filled with items, come right here and then have a water stream that delivers those items for you in shulker boxes. So you don't even have to input them with a chest. You can be creative with this however you guys like. And that's kind of what this is for, is to help you guys create your own storage systems. And in order to build this one, you only need to prepare an area out the back that is eight blocks deep, five blocks tall, and three blocks wide to one side. So let's get started with the tutorial. A material list will be down in the description. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come right here to the middle. We're going to come right here to the back. We're going to place in four blocks right here in the center. One, two, three, and four. We're going to come two blocks back. We're going to start right there. We're going to place in five blocks, including this one. So one, two, three, four, and five, just like this. Go ahead and grab your sticky piston and two blocks back on this one. Go ahead and place that with the sticky piston part facing forward. And then right here in the front, go ahead and place your barrels in if you're going to be using barrels. However, if you're going to be using hopper lines like you can and you want to go left or right with these, then go ahead and install those now. And then go ahead and hook up these hoppers to them, except you're going to be taking this hopper to that one and then go ahead and place yourself in a uh, temporary block like this. And if your hopper line is going out to the left or the right, then you would obviously put a temporary block in the direction that it's going and point that in this direction. However, your hopper line is going to be over here, and so you'd see a hopper over here, and when this piston extends, it would go into that one. So that's how you want to set that up. But for the sake of the demonstration, we're going to be using our barrels. So go ahead and make sure that your hoppers are candy corner just like this, and make sure that your hoppers are leading into the direction that they need to. For me, I need to have mine facing forward. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there just like so. And now we can go ahead and start working on some of the redstone. On top of this uh, sticky piston right here, we're going to go ahead and take a comparator just like this. And then in front of that comparator on this block, we're going to go ahead and put some redstone dust. Then in front or back of that comparator, we're going to go ahead and put a block. So go ahead and put a block here and put a block there. And then in front of this redstone right here, in front of this block, we're going to place another block just like so. And we're going to put a repeater on that one just like this. And we're going to leave that on one tick. Go ahead and put some redstone dust down here and put a block on top of it just like this. And then down here, we're going to put a block down here and break this one out in the middle. And we're going to put another repeater down here facing forward this time and we're going to put that one on two ticks and then directly underneath this sticky piston here we're going to break that block out and we're going to go ahead and put another repeater there facing forward and we're going to leave that one on one tick then we can go ahead and break out all of our temporary blocks here in the front then on top of this block right here we want to go ahead and throw an upwards facing sticky piston just like this and we want to have a observer facing forward just like that with the red dot facing forward and then off of that piston, we're going to have a block there and then a block up just like this in front of it. And you can break that block out. 
Then grab yourself a repeater, put that on this one, and put that on four ticks. On the front of this block right here, we can go ahead and put our sticky piston facing downwards just like this. We want to have that facing down just like that. And then on whatever side you have room, if you have room on this side, then you'd want to have your observer facing this way with your red dot facing the side that you have room in. So if you have room on this side, then you want to have it put it this way so you could fit all the redstone over here. But for us, for today, we're going to go ahead and put it in this direction. So we're going to have a red dot facing this way. And we're going to go ahead and put a block on the face of that one. We're going to come to the opposite side, grab ourselves a dispenser, and put it on the bottom of that block right there just like this. And then behind that dispenser, go ahead and place in these three blocks just like this just right, right around that comparator. Grab yourself a comparator, place it in there just like so. Grab yourself a sticky piston, place it in there sideways just like this with an observer on its face with the red dot facing this block. Once you have all that in place, go ahead and grab yourself a hopper and go ahead and put it in the back of this dispenser. So go ahead and crouch place that in there just like so. And if you have a farm with a shulker box loader and you want to have those items come directly here, you can set that up with a water stream. But if you want to have the chest in the front and load these up manually, then go ahead and place yourself another hopper right there with a double chest on top just like this. And then go ahead and put yourself in a solid block over that hopper just like so. And then put some carpet on the top of this double chest to finish that up. Then you can come in the front right here. You can grab your facade blocks if you want to install these. You can go ahead and put these all around here just like this. And if you don't have any barrels and you have hopper lines, then you definitely want to make sure to put some blocks where those barrels are too. And then right here in the front, you can go ahead and put yourself a piece of glass so you can view that. And you're more than welcome to use glass where the barrels are too if you want to view the entire area. And around back, make sure that if you have hopper lines going in this direction, make sure that the top hopper line is not going under this dispenser. You want to make sure that that top hopper line is definitely going out to this side or somewhere else besides underneath this dispenser. So you could definitely have it go forward and then come this direction or that direction, but you definitely don't want to go directly underneath that dispenser. And then whenever you have your hopper lines in, you want to make sure that this area is somewhat decently closed and you can use that using glass or you could definitely use solid blocks and you want to make sure to get this side as well and make sure that whole chamber is covered up with your hopper lines in place. Since this space is kind of open right here, I would recommend going ahead and putting a block right there all the way up to that piston and doing the same thing on this side. See how you can see right in there. There's a chance the shulker box could fall out here. So make sure to there's nowhere that the shulker box could definitely fall out. And once you have that fully enclosed, that is your shulker box unloader completely done and dusted. Now you can go ahead and test it. And as you can see right here, I've got a couple shulker boxes in my inventory. These also have only 16 sand in them so that we can demonstrate this rather quickly. And so we're going to go ahead and take these. We're going to go ahead and load them into the system. These represent our full shulker boxes. And as you can see, they get dispensed out. And then I believe our items come right here in the top hopper line so you can have those. And then when it breaks, your shulker box will go into the bottom hopper line which is exactly what this is supposed to do. And it'll do that all the way through to the end. And as you can see, our items are still coming in and our soccer boxes are still going down below. And it'll do that all the way to the last one. And as you can see right here, we are on the last one. Here's all of our sand, all of our items, and then all of our soccer boxes are down here in the bottom. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Hopperline Shocker Box Unloader version B. This thing is super powerful and super useful. Hopefully you guys can find something creative to use it for. And if you guys can, please leave me a comment down below letting me know what you did with it. And if you guys can, check out my social media links down below and send me some photos of some of the builds that you guys have been able to put this into. I'd be really excited to see that. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you did, smack the like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next tutorial. Take it easy, everybody. Everybody.